Greetings everyone. In this video tutorial, we will talk about data file handling in C++ and especially file pointers. All IO stream objects have at least one internal stream pointer. If stream like iStream has a pointer known as the get pointer and it points to the element to be read for the next input operation. Of stream like OStream has a pointer known as the put pointer and it points to the location where the next element has to be written. Fstream inherits both get and put pointers from IOStream. So you can see the iStream has get pointer, offstream has put pointer and finally Fstream has both the get and put pointers. The default reading pointer is set to the beginning of the file and the default writing pointer is set to the end of the file when the file is opened in append mode. Now let us see the two type of file pointers. The first one is the get pointer. It specifies the location in a file where the next read operation will occur. The put pointer it specifies the location in a file where the next write operation will occur. So we can say that these pointers that is get pointer and put pointer they indicate the current positions for read and write operations respectively. It means get pointer it indicates the current position for read operation and put pointer it indicates the current position for write operation. Now each time an input or an output operation takes place, the pointers automatically advance sequentially. Now till now whatever programs we have done uh, in file handling, in all, the, uh, in all those programs, the get and put pointers, they were moving automatically. But now we will learn some functions through which we can uh, move the get pointer and put pointer to any arbitrary locations in the file. So it is possible also and we will learn about these functions now. Now let us learn the functions associated with file pointers. Get pointer. The functions associated with get pointer are seekg and tellg. And if we talk about put pointer, the functions associated with put pointer are seekp and tellp. The seekg or the seekp functions are used to move the get and the put pointer respectively either to an absolute address within the file or to certain number of bytes from a particular position. So they seek G and seek P, they are used to move the get and put pointers to the specified location. The tell G and tell P functions, they are used to find out the current position of the get and put file pointers respectively in a file. So tell G file pointer, it gives the current position of the get pointer in the file and tell p uh, function gives the current position of the put pointer in the file. Now let us understand the syntax of seekg and seekp function and how it operates. Now the syntax of seekg function is seekg offset comma reference position. Similarly the syntax of seekp function is offset comma reference position. Here offset is the number of bytes the file pointer is to be moved and reference position it is the reference in the file from which the pointer has to be repositioned and there are three reference points which are defined in the ios class and these are ios back it means from the beginning of the file ios cur cur which means the current from the current position of the file pointer and ios end which means from the end of the file so these are the three reference position and according to these reference position, these many number of bytes are moved using the seekg or seekp function. Now the second parameter that is ref position is optional. It is not mandatory to give this parameter. And if it is not specified, the file pointer is moved from the beginning of the file. So if you do not mention this ref position, the file pointer by default will move from the beginning of the file. This many number of bytes will be moved from the beginning of the file. And it is important to learn that location of the file always starts from 0. Now let us see a few functions, cg and cp functions. 
view and uh, explanation of them. Now, uh, if fin is the object of if stream class, so I can uh, associate the get pointer with this uh, object. So if I write fin dot cg n comma ios back, it means uh, if this command will move the file pointer to n plus one th byte from the beginning of the file. So uh, this command again it will move the file pointer to n plus one th byte. Now if the command is fin dot cg again the uh, object is the same object of if string class and if I associate the get pointer with this so fin dot cg n comma i use curve this command will move the file pointer to n bytes ahead from the current position of the file. Now the command fin dot cg minus n comma i use double colon current this command will move the file pointer to n bytes backward from the current position of the file. It is important to note that if n is negative, the file pointer will move backward and if n is positive, the file pointer will move forward. If the command is fin.cg minus n comma i use n, this command will move the file pointer to n bytes backward from the end of the file because the reference position is i use double colon end. Now the command fin.cg minus n comma i use beginning is not defined because we cannot move before the beginning of the file. Nothing is written before the beginning of the file. So this is not defined. Again, fin.cg n comma i use double colon end is also not defined because if we try to move beyond the end of the file, nothing will be written there. We cannot move beyond the end of the file. Similarly, we cannot move before the beginning of the file and we cannot move after the end of the file. So these two things are not defined. Now these are the examples of cg function. The cp function is identical to the cg function but it is identified with the put pointer. So we associate an object of off string class with the cp function. Now let us see a few more examples to make it more clear. Now the command is fin.cg 0 comma i use beginning. So this command will move the file pointer to the beginning of the file. That is 0, point, 0 bytes from the beginning that is to, uh, it, it, it will move the file pointer to the beginning of the file. Now the command fin.cg 0 comma i use curve. This command will move the file pointer 0 bytes from the current position of the file pointer. Now 0 byte means it will stay at the current position. There will be no movement. Now the command fin.cg 0 comma i use end. This command will move the file pointer to the 0 bytes from the end of the file. That is to the end of the file. Now fin.cg 10 comma i use back, back will move the file pointer to the 11th byte. That is because we have already learned that whatever is the value of n, it will move to n plus 1th byte. So 10 if is if the value is 10, it will move to 11th byte ahead from the beginning of the file. Now the command fin.cg 10 comma i use curve, this command will move the file pointer to 10 bytes ahead from the current position of the file. So the file pointer will move 10 bytes ahead from where the cursor is already there. It will move the, uh, 10 bytes ahead from the current position of the file pointer. Fin.cg minus 10 comma i use curve. This command will move the file pointer 10 bytes backward from the current position of the file. See the file pointer will move backward because my n is negative. When n is positive it will move forward. And when n is negative, the file pointer will move backward. Now see if the com in the command, uh, no reference position is given. Fin.cg10, if only offset is given. In this case, by default, it will take the reference position as the beginning of the file. And it will move 10 bytes ahead. It means 11th byte from the beginning of the file. So this command is similar to this command. Now if I say fin.cg minus 10 comma i use double colon n. So this command will move the file pointer to 10 bytes backward from the end of the file. Again fin.cg minus 2 comma i use curve. This command will also move the file pointer 2 bytes backward from the current position of the file. Because your n is negative, the file pointer will move backward. Now let us see how cg and cp functions they work in a binary file. Now let us suppose we have a binary file xyz dot dat. So we will open this binary file in input mode so that we can read it. I am associating an object of if string class 
with the file xyz dot tag and this is ios binary which indicates that this file is a binary file and suppose this is the look of my binary file this is just a sample uh, look how my file will appear uh, there are you can see there are five records the first record is 1 3 50 second is 2 400 three is 3 4 50 fourth one is 4 4 80 and fifth one is 5 3 80 as I've opened the file uh, with in, uh, input mode, so my file pointer is at the beginning of the file. Now let us suppose 2 is a variable of structure student and the structure student has two data members, roll number and total. Let us assume this uh, position, if, the, if this is the case. So if I give fin.cg size of 2, it means I want to move the my file pointer to this block or to, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the uh, size of stew. This many number of bytes I want to move. Now the size of stew is 6 bytes because uh, integer uh, if row number is integer and total is float it will be 2 plus 4 that is 6. It will move 6, boy, six bytes and my file pointer will come to the next record beginning of next record. Now if I next give the statement fin dot read cat star and present stew comma size of stew. So listen carefully. Now when we give a read statement Two things happen this command reads the current record and it also moves the file pointer to the next record so my uh, currently my file pointer is at record number two so this data will will be read into stu so stu stores two and four hundred and then my file pointer will move to the beginning of the third record so at the end of the uh, read operation the file pointer automatically advances to the beginning of the next record so if i say cout stu dot roll Two dot roll contains two, so two will be the output. Now, if I next say fin dot cg size of two comma ios curve, so it means I want to place my file pointer from the current position of the file to this many number of bytes. I want to advance my file pointer to the size of two bytes. So the again uh, my file pointer uh, in the last command my file pointer was at the beginning of the third record. And after this, this command, my file pointer will move to the beginning of the fourth record. So I'm moving in uh, number of bytes, which is equal to the size of stew from the current position. Now, if I give the read statement again, pin dot read cat star ampersand stew comma size of stew. So again, this command will perform two functions. It will see it will read the current record and it will also move the file pointer to the beginning of the next record. So my current record is the record number four. So this record will be uh, read and it will be stored in stu and then my file pointer will advance to the beginning of the fifth record. You can see it has been advanced to this record. Now if I say cout stu dot roll, already the record number 4 has been read and stored in stu. So it will display 4. Now if I give the command fin dot cg minus size of stu comma ios current. So this time as it is the negative sign, uh, the file pointer will move. Uh, this is the size of two bytes from the current position in the backward direction. So currently my file pointer is pointing to the, the beginning of the fifth record. Now after this command, my file pointer will move to the beginning of the fourth record. It will move uh, the number of bytes which is equal to the size of two backwards because negative sign is there. Now if we give the read command again, fin dot read char star and presents two comma size of two. So this command will read the current record that is it will re read the record number 4 and it also advances the record pointer to the next record that is the beginning of record number 5. So if I say cout stu dot roll so it will display 4 which is the uh, record read in the stu read and stored in stu. Now let us talk about tell g and tell p functions. The tell g function does not have any argument it returns the current byte position of the get pointer relative to the beginning of the file. It is important to note relative to the beginning of the file. So we take an example. Suppose I have an object fin of if stream class and I am associating it to the file abc.txt. So I can give the command like this fin.telg and I will store the output in a uh, variable pause. So this command will assign the current position of the get pointer to the variable pause. The tell p function, it is also identical to the tell g function, but it is identified with the put pointer. So you need to open the file in off string 
uh, output mode that is you need to attach it to an object of off stream class if you want to use tail p function now let us do some examples of tail g and tail p function to make it more clear now suppose i have a file abc.txt and this is the structure of my file you can see i have stored alphabets from a to z in this file and this is my end of file position and the byte number starts from 0 so a is at 0 byte p is at 1 byte c is at 2 byte and so on and z is at 25 byte and my eof is at 26 byte now when we a open the file in the input mode that is i'm uh, attaching it to an object of if stream class my file pointer is at the beginning of the file so if i say c out fin dot tell g it means uh, uh, my it, it will uh, display the position of my file pointer which is at 0 so 0 will be displayed now uh, if i say uh, fin dot cg 5 comma ios beginning so it will move my file pointer uh, to sixth byte n plus 1th byte that is 6 byte from the beginning of the file so the sixth byte from the beginning of the file is byte number 5 because my numbering starts from 0 so my file pointer comes to this position which is the byte number 5 and if I say c out pin dot tell g it will display this byte number which is 5. Now if I again say pin dot cg 2 comma i use current so this command will move the file pointer 2 bytes ahead. So if my file pointer is at byte number 5 it will move the file pointer ahead to byte number 7. So my output will be 7 if I give the command c out pin dot tell g. Now if I say fin.cg minus 4 comma I use current. Minus 4 indicates that my file pointer has to move in the backward direction. So it will move 4 bytes from the current position in the backward direction. So if my current position is 7, it will move 4 bytes backward so that it will come to byte number 3. So if I say c out fin.telg, 3 will be displayed. Now next if the command is fin.cg 0 comma I use end. It means I want to place my file pointers at the 0th byte from the end. So my end is this. So if I say c out fin dot tell g, it will display 26. Now the next command is fin dot cg minus 2 comma ios end. It means I want to move my file pointer 2 bytes backward from the end position. So 2 bytes backward from the end position is 24. So if I say c out fin dot tell g, 24 will be displayed. Now let, let us run a program to make it more clear. The file pointers is a very important topic. So I will first create a file asd.txt. So to create a file, I will attach it to an object of offstream class. And using the insertion operator, I will write all the alphabets from A to Z to my file. So you can see that this is the structure of my file. All the alphabets have been written. And these are the byte position at which they are written. Now I will close this file. Again, I will open the same file asd.txt in input mode. This time, I will attach it to an object of if stream class. So, when I open the file in input mode, my file pointer is at the beginning of the file. You can see my file pointer is here at 0th byte. So, if I say c out fin.telg, 0 will be displayed. You can see the output. This is the output of after running this program. So, 0 will be displayed first. Now, if I say fin.cg5, ios beginning, it means uh, advance my fi uh, file pointer to 6th byte, 5 positions ahead or 6th byte from the beginning of the file. So 5 positions ahead or 6th byte is byte number 5. So my file pointer will move to this position. So if I say c out fin dot tell g, it will display 5. You can see this is 5. The result is 5. Now suppose I want to read a character which is present at this byte. So if I, I will say char ch, I will declare a character variable. If I say fin.getch, again this is a read operation. We have already discussed that read operation does two things. It reads the uh, data which is present at the current location and it then advances the file pointer to the next location. So fin.getch command, it will read the data which is present at byte number 5 that is f and then after this the read operation is over, it will advance the file pointer to the next byte that is it will start pointing to g sixth byte so if i say c out ch f will be displayed now if again i, I say fin dot cg 2 comma ios current so again it will move the file pointer 
two bytes ahead from the current position. So my current position is this at byte number six. So my file pointer will move to byte number eight. That is my file pointer is at byte number eight at which character i is stored. So if I say cout pin dot tlg, eight will be displayed. Now again, if I try to read uh, the character which is present at this position, I will give the command pin dot get ch. Again, this is a read operation. So uh, this read operation will read the character which is stored at this byte and store it in ch, and then it will advance the file pointer to next position. That is, the, my file after the read command, my file pointer will point to j. So if I say cout ch, i will be displayed. You can see here, i is displayed in the output. Now, if I say fin dot cg zero comma ios end, it means I want to move my file pointer to zero eighth byte from the end, that is to the end of the file. So my file pointer will reach the end, which is the twenty sixth byte. And if I say cout fin dot tlg, twenty six will be displayed in the output. You can see this is the output. Now, if I say fin dot cg minus two comma ios end, it means I want to move my file pointer two bytes backward from the end position. So my file pointer was here. If I move it two bytes backward, it will point to this location, which is 24. So if I say cout fin dot tlg, 24 will be displayed. And after that, I am closing my file. And so this is the output of running this program. Now let us understand the uh, how tlg and tlp function uh, uh, functions they work in binary files. For this, I will create a structure two, which has two data members, row number and total. In the main function, first I will create an ob uh, variable of uh, two, structure variables two, and then I will open the file asd dot dat in output mode. I will attach it to an object f out of of stream class. Now I will read the data in the structure variable s1. S1 dot roll is equal to one, and s1 dot dot is equal to 350. And after reading the data, I will write The structure s1 to the file. So when I give this command, f out dot write char star and percent s1 comma size of s1, the data of s1 will be stored in the file like this. Again, I will read the next record two and four hundred suppose. I will write it. So this will be stored in the file like this. Again, I am reading the third record, row number three and total four fifty. So when I write it into the file, my file will look like this three and four fifty. Again, I will read the fourth record, in uh, which row number is four and total is four eighty. So when I write it into the file, my file will look like this. After this, I am closing my file. So finally, my file is like this, and I am now opening my file in uh, input mode. So you can see as dot dat. I am attaching it to the object of if stream class, and so this is my file. And when I open it in input mode, my file pointer is at the beginning of the file. That is at the zeroth byte. So if I say cout fin dot tlg, so it, it will display zero. You can see the output of this program; it is displaying zero. Now if I say fin dot cg size of s1, so this command will move my file pointer to this many number of bytes, the size of s1. So the size of s1 you can see is six bytes. Integer is of two bytes and float is of uh, four bytes. Total six bytes are there. So it will advance to six bytes, and my file pointer will move to the beginning of the Second record. Now, if uh, if I say cout fin dot tlg, you can see six is displayed. Now, if I again see uh, say fin dot cg size of s1 comma ios curve, so my file pointer will again move uh, to the size uh, move uh, the number of bytes which is equal into the size of s1 from the current position. So, if my current position is this in the beginning of the file, my file after this command, my file pointer will move to the beginning of the Third record, which is the byte number twelve. You can see here the twelfth byte uh, is the beginning of record number three. So when I say cout fin dot tlg, it will display twelve. Now suppose uh, I want the negative of uh, size of s one. I will store, uh, uh, calculate this and store it in s. And if I say fin dot cg s comma ios curve, so in this case, as it is a negative number, the file pointer will move backward from the current position. <coughs> So you can see the my current position is at the beginning of record number three. So if I move my file pointer backward and I'm moving again the number of bytes which is equivalent to the size of S1, so it will move six bytes backward and now my file pointer will uh, uh, point to the beginning of the second record. So if I say cout fin dot tlg, 
and the beginning of the second record is a six byte you can see so six will be displayed now if i say fin.cg zero comma ios end so it means my file pointer will move to the end of the file you can see here it has moved to the end of the file and the end of the file is at 24th byte so if i say see out fin.telg it will display 24 as the output so this is the output of running this program now let us uh, write a program uh, using file pointers uh, in this program this is again a program to modify the data of a desired roll number and so in this program uh, uh, earlier we also uh, uh, wrote this program but in that program we use two files one in the input mode and one in the output mode but now we are using only one file to modify the data now we are using the class student in which there are two data members roll number and total and there are there is a public member function in data to read the data of these data members and out data to display the data of these data members and then wet roll function is there to return the roll number because this is a class and its data members cannot be accessed directly so if i want to know the value of a particular roll number i need a function which will return the roll number now in the main i will uh, create uh, uh, an object fin of type of, of class f stream as i have to do both reading and writing modification means read the file first identify the record which needs to be modified and then write the modified record on, into the file so it needs both input and output operations so i am using the f stream uh, uh, class and then uh, uh, this is my binary mode and i am also attaching 8 mode as uh, 8 mode is for both input and output and in this mode the my file pointer when the file is opened is at the end of the file but the file pointer can be moved to any desired location using the file pointer functions so i'll, I'll first check if my file is not existing it means there is error in opening file and i will exit from the file otherwise i will create an objects to of class student and i will create a variable role and then I will ask the user to input the roll number of the student whose record needs to be modified. Now, after inputting the roll number, I will use fin.cg 0 comma I use beginning to move my file pointer to the beginning of the file because now I have to read my file from the beginning. Now then I give the command fin.read char start and percent two comma size of two. So the first record will be read and it will be stored in two. And automatically my file pointer will move to the beginning of the next record. Now if I give the loop while not pin.ua, while the end of file is not reached, I will check whether the roll number which is stored in stu, stu.redroll, I will use this function because I cannot write down stu.roll, this is a roll number, this is a private data member. So I will take the use the function redroll to return the roll number which is stored in stu. So if this roll number is equal to the roll which the user has just entered, in that case I will ask the user to enter the data which uh, modified data. I will use the function in data to read the modified data and now after the read operation my file pointer has already advanced to the beginning of the next record so I need the cg function and I am using c negative or size of s2 from the current position that is I will move from the current position size of 2 bytes backward so that I will reach the record which needs to be modified. So if I give the command fin dot write can star ampersand 2 comma size of 2 my file whatever data I, I have just inputted modified data will be stored uh, at the current location if i don't give fin.cg the modified data will be written to the next record which is wrong so it is very important to move the file pointer backward so that modified data can be written correctly onto the current rec uh, uh, desired record if this is not the case i will read the next record and in this case, uh, so, so I, until end of file is not reached, this loop will continue. And after that, I will close my file. Let us see the sample run. In the beginning, you see, uh, when the main runs, I will open the file. And then I am asking the user to input the rule number of the student whose record needs to be modified. So this will be uh, displayed. And suppose the user has entered 3. Now, this is my file. And this is my file pointer as it is opened in the input, uh, my file pointer, uh, I have moved my file pointer to the beginning of the file, cg0, comma beginning. So this command will move my file pointer to the beginning of the file. Now, uh, when I give the command pin.read char star ampersand 2, comma size of 2, my first current record will be stored in 2. You can see here, this has been stored here. 
and my file pointer will automatically move to the beginning of the next record. Now it will compare whether the roll number stored in one uh, in two is equal to three or not. No, they are not equal. See, we will use this statement to check whether the roll number which has been stored in two is equal to the uh, roll which the user has just entered or not. See, in this case, they are not same. So uh, you can see here this will operation will not be performed and the next read operation will occur. So uh, see my next read operation, my file pointer is at the beginning of the second record. So the next read operation will read 2 comma 400 into 2. This will be stored in 2 and my file pointer will advance to the beginning of the third record. Now again this roll number is checked with this roll number. Again they are not same. So you can see they are not same. So the next read operation will be performed. Now my file pointer is at the beginning of the third record. So this third record will be stored in you can see here 3 and 450 and after reading the third record my file pointer will move to the beginning of the fourth record. Now you can see the roll number is 3 which the user has entered and the roll number in 2 is also 3. So they are same in this case uh, this condition is true. So I ask the user to input the modified data and I will call the function in data. So again the user will input the modified data. The roll number is 3 and now the marks are 375 instead of 450. We can see here after inputting the data, now I am giving the command to move the file pointer from the current position to this many number of bytes backward. So my current file pointer position is at the beginning of the fourth record. So I will move the file pointer to the beginning of the third record. You can see here it has been moved to the beginning of the third record and now I will give the command Pin dot write because if I don't give this command, my new modified record will be written on this record. So it is important to move the file pointer backward so that when I give this write command, my new modified record will be written onto this. So you can see here after writing the record, uh, again my file pointer will move to the beginning of the next record. So after that, this record will also read and uh, this is not again the same as three. So the my program will close because my file has ended here and uh, the data you can see it has been modified. So this is all for this video. I hope you like this video and if you like, like this video, please give thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.